All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakhakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles at Green Millstone who are well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Shalom. To you brothers out there on the highways and byways, preaching, teaching in sincerity and in truth. Uh, Shalom, Baraka Thumb to all of you brothers. And uh, I want to uh, speak. And the main precept that I'm thinking about right now is Jeremiah, the 16th chapter. It's probably, uh, I'll title this something along the lines of that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just been on my spirit, you know, being patient, exercising patience, you know, being circumspect because every day, you know, you come across people, you know, and I speak, you know, on, on interactions that I have with day-to-day -day people, man, but some days you just want to you really just want to put people in the spirit world, you know, because of <laughs> all of the anger and all of the frustration and that. It's not wrong to feel that way. It's a, it's wrong to engage in it because the scriptures speak about that in uh, Ecclesiastes 7. It says, surely oppression make it a wise man mad, all right? And you do feel crazy and insane that, you know, you have to bow down to certain things about people you know, like I, I went to a restaurant the other day and it just vexed me just watching an Edomite woman. You know, I had already placed the order online to go pick up the food. And I don't know what order she had hers in, but it just vexed my spirit to watch an Edomite woman just come in there and get her order and walk out and I'm still standing there, man. It just vexed me. And I know that's a trivial thing, but it's, it's bigger than that small matter. It's a collection, it's a buildup of things, man. It's all of the shit that we have to endure behind it all, you know? And that's because we see the, the wickedness of this place for what it really is, you know? So that's why I said it's, 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 a, uh, it's a righteous thing, all right, to be vexed with all of the things that you go through here and to want Jeremiah the 16th chapter to come through. When the scriptures speak about Jeremiah 16, it says, He's going to send for many fishers, all right? Speaking about the state that we're in now, which is the recruiting phase, all right? Where we we bid those to the marriage, all right? That that you repent, you come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, you do them to the best of your ability. You eat the whole roll, all right? And then you go out and you teach and you edify, man. You know, that's, that's the fisher, but there's a period of time where the Lord is going to shut down everything, all right? There's not going to be any more uh, precepts being brought out on street corners, okay? There's going to be a dark period where you're not going to be able to get the truth, man. That's called the famine of the word, and between, and the famine of the word is between those fishers, spoken about in Jeremiah 16, and the hunters, spoken about in Jeremiah 16. You know, in that time period but between the fishers and the hunters, that's, we're not gonna we're not gonna be uh, uh, putting videos up on YouTube. All right, you saw us gonna lock pretty much all of this down and demonize us. All right, and then that standard is gonna have to be lifted up. All right, and when it speaks about us being becoming those hunters, it's really talking about our bodies getting changed. You can't. Uh, uh, Esau's gonna try it. He's gonna try to say that we're inciting violence that we want brothers to become violent and, you know, take somebody's head off. No, that's that's what we we want to do in our spirit, but the scriptures uh, the scriptures are clear on how we're supposed to move in this place, you know, while we're in this captivity. Now, when we get those new bodies, it ain't gonna be no U.S. government, it ain't gonna be no first responders, it ain't gonna be none of that. It's, it's gonna, the end of the world is basically gonna be here, man. We ain't getting over a what, man. We could be having a fucking linker on for um, anyway, so lock you. We're not going to be doing all of that, bro. You know, we're, we're going to be, um, we're going to be in the spirit of hunting. And the, and the scriptures say that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, is going to have to put his anger in us, man, because we don't even have the capacity to be as angry as we should be with these people. And part of the reason for that is we can't see all the wickedness that they've done. You, you can only be angry at what the person has done to you or what you've seen the person do. You haven't seen, you don't have the entire tab 
of what that person done in their wickedness, the most high does, you know? And so that, that we, we really don't, we really don't even have the ability to be as angry <laughs> as we should be. But the Lord's gonna do that, man. And when we are put in, in that situation of being those hunters, it's all better off, man. Every feeling, every time you wanted to, you wanted to get carnal, but you resisted that carnality, all right? You gave way to the spirit instead of your flesh. The Lord remembers that, man. He remembers every time you you had to bite your tongue, every time you just had to walk away, <laughs> you know, because you can't, you, we can't be out here fighting and, and really, we shouldn't even be arguing with people out there on the streets, man. You don't know what the fuck people are on. I don't even argue with people, man. I, I look at them and I, I, I look dead at them in the eyes and I see if they're gonna try it. And I, I, if, I, if I if I if I feel like they uh they just talking shit, then I just walk away, man. You know, as long as you're not gonna be a physical threat to me, you know, we 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 you know I keep it moving, and I'm not gonna sit up there and argue with you. I'm not gonna get emotional, you know. But you know, if you if you if you try me, your howl right the zow, you know. <laughs> you know, I do what I gotta do. I put it to you that way, man. You know, but we understand that. Um, that there's a patience that's, that's that's associated along with it and the reason we need that patience is because we we see the wickedness of what it really is way better than everybody else it's way more clear uh to us than anybody else and we're more emotionally invested man why are we upset about things in the earth like pollution because we 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 were the we are the creators of the earth man we we are spiritually attached to the things that the Lord allowed us to create. And so it, it bothers us when we see a bunch of fucking plastic in the ocean or, you know, animals getting, you know, going extinct, you know, because because Esau likes likes trophies or he decided that he, he found a new chemical, all right, <laughs> that's going to make him some extra money, you know, and he, and he does wickedness in the earth to destroy it, chopping down hella trees, you know, not replanting them you know th those things bother the elect more than it's going to bother the average everyday person because the average everyday person had no hand in creation man they don't they're not invested in it you know so that anger the lord remembers it man and the scripture said it's a righteous thing to recompense them that trouble you you know so jeremiah the 16th chapter you know maybe i'll title it this is so close but yet it's so far away and the reason I say that is because we are close in terms of our timeline and prophecy of these things coming to pass, of all things being shut down and our bodies being transformed. But it, just, but, but the way that it feels right now, man, we're so far. Like, like our bodies are so frail, man. We gotta wake up every damn day. You need a supplement, or you gotta detox, or do something just, just so you can feel whole, man. And and we'll never really feel whole. You know, even the days that you feel good, if your if if your body was really healed and whole, man, you would you you can't even tell. You know, we can't even tell what we're supposed to feel like, man. If your body was actually healed and whole right now, you would probably break down and start crying, man. Things in your body that's supposed to work a certain way, you know, it's like you didn't even know what you were missing <laughs> because we just been breathing in bullshit, you know. Um. Anyway, when, when the Lord gives us those bodies, man, you know, that's going to be a, a major, major reward. All right. And part of that reward is going to be to recompense our enemies. But it requires it requires patience, but it only requires patience for the men that are vexed. If you're not vexed with, with America, then you're not patient. What are you waiting for? You think you think the you think the best is yet to come here in America. All right, and we're telling you the worst is yet to come, and it's not, and it's not going to be in America. All right. So if you're not if you're not vexed um, with everything, then there's no there's no requirement for patience, man. You know, patience means to suffer. You know, and the only people that are going to suffer, all right, are. Uh, are gonna be the people that are waiting for this place to, to go down, you know? 
not not a nigga that wants wants to wait for uh the real estate market to come back or, or he likes rolling backwards or whatever the, the, the case may be man whatever nonsense wants to keep you here you know and we're gonna get those spiritual powers man the lord will lift up that standard because the devil will come down with great wrath and we're gonna need it you know so it it, it all, all of these things make it feel very far away because of how shitty our bodies are you know how much bullshit we got to take on a day to day it feels like having being able to take somebody's head off with, <laughs> with, with spiritual power seems very far away from us man but it's really really close because you can see everything going down in, in, in uh in the middle east what they call the middle east the levant region all right we know that this thing is close and the scriptures speak about us being changed in the twinkling of an eye you know so that's that's what i mean you know and you know, it, it makes me want to go and watch movies like *Brightburn*. I may actually watch that movie this weekend. You know, again, just 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 to <laughs> be in the spirit. You know, because that a, that's a very spiritual movie, and the scriptures um, the scriptures speak about uh, uh, meditating terror, man. You know, so that that's that's something that we should be thinking about. You know, often, man. The recompense of our enemies, but we don't do it where our flesh is is getting riled up and getting the best of us, where we get into altercations out in our day to day lives. All right, it's a calm, it's a it's a it's a uh, uh, it's that anger that uh, uh, what's that? What you call it? Thanos had man, you know, he had that. That takes a lot of anger to wipe out half the universe. But notice, Thanos was calm. He was cool. He was collected. He had he had control of that wrath. <laughs> you see, and that's how the Lord is, man. And the Lord is gonna release it in due time, man. That's all I really wanted to speak on. Um, Lord willing, this was edifying. Call for Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Ahashem Rachav Badashwa, Ababa Ball Shalom.